Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're taking a look at the Belkin Ultimate Keyboard Case for the iPad. This sells for $99.99, and it works with the iPad 2, 3, and 4. So in the past, when I've gone to use a keyboard with my iPad, it's generally been on what I call an as-needed basis, meaning I'll keep my iPad in some sort of thin protective case when I'm not in need of a keyboard, and then when I am, I take my iPad out of the thin case and put it into a keyboard case. Reason being, most of the keyboard cases on the market right now are very big and very bulky, not something I necessarily want to carry on a regular basis. Well, that's all changed with this product right here. The Belkin Ultimate Keyboard Case arrived on my doorstep about three weeks ago, and I have yet to take it off my iPad. That's right, it's thin enough that you can actually carry it as your regular case, yet still enjoy all the benefits of a regular keyboard for use with your iPad. So the product will be released sometime this month. What I have is a pre-release version, which does have a few flaws um, that are going to be corrected in the actual production version, and I'll go over that as I get into the review. So here's the box, the packaging is pretty simple. There isn't anything in here other than the case itself, a micro USB recharging cable, and a small quick start guide. So I'm gonna get that out of the way and slide the case on in, and here it is. So right off the bat, I wanna point out that the Belkin logo is up here in the upper left-hand corner, which is actually the wrong position. In the production uh, version of this case, it will be down here in the right-hand uh, side of the case so that when you you know go to a line and open it, it's in the lower right-hand portion. So that's number one. It does have this metallic finish on the front and then kind of a rubberized back, and this is where the iPad will go. I will point out that this metal finish is kind of prone to scratching. I know it's hard to pick up um, under the lights, but um, it does scratch if you put it on a rough surface. Not really that noticeable unless you're really looking for it. Just something to be aware of. So it has like a notch right here that you put your hand into to open up the case, and um, there it is. Uh, before I do that though, let me just show you a couple other things around the case. Most importantly, right here, the micro USB port for recharging the case. Belkin says uh, you'll get about 160 hours of usage from a single charge, and I'd say that's about right. I charged this up when I first got it about three weeks ago, and I ha haven't had to recharge it yet. So I'm gonna bring my iPad in and slide it on in. Basically, this is a snap on the back style shell that you literally click your iPad into like so, and now it's locked into place. So let's first close this up to just show you how thin this actually is. Really, it's not much thicker than a standard protective case. Um, certainly, far and away the thinnest iPad keyboard case that I've had a chance to review. Now, there are a couple other iPad keyboard solutions that might be thinner than this, but those do not, I repeat, do not offer full 360 degree protection like this does. Um, and that's the kind of benefit of this. So as far as all the ports and controls before we get into the actual keyboard go, first of all, this section of the keyboard is kind of rubberized. So it gives you a nice grip when you're holding onto it. And you can see here a cutout, single cutout for the volume rocker and that mute slash orientation switch. Nice round cutout for the rear facing camera and another cutout there for the sleep awake. They do have a cutout for the microphone as well as the headset jack. The other cutout on the bottom there for your lightning port or 30 pin depending on you know, which device you have. And then take note of this. This is a special channel which helps um, with sound um, from the iPad speaker. So it will help kind of you know, boost it coming from the bottom of the iPad. So, the probably the coolest feature to this, other than the fact that it's so thin, is that there's no on-off button for the Bluetooth keyboard. Basically what happens is, as soon as the iPad makes a connection with one of these three sections right here, um, and as soon as this piece hits it, it automatically knows it's time to pair up the keyboard. So as you can see right now, I'm just gonna go into an area where I can get to the keyboard. Um, the Apple keyboard comes up, the iPad keyboard comes up because the Bluetooth is not connected. Typing here does absolutely nothing. However, as soon as I click this in, and this is magnetic, so it makes a firm connection, in a second, this keyboard will go away, as it just did, and now I'm actually connected via Bluetooth. As soon as I lift this up, 
After a second or two, it will release the Bluetooth connection and go back to the regular keyboard. Um, and that's important for a couple things, um, a couple reasons, and there we go, it's back. A couple reasons, really. Number one, you don't have to mess with an on-off switch, which is really cool. Um, you don't have to worry about turning it on when you go to use it or turning you, it off when you're done. The other cool thing, and I think even more important, is it allows you to flip the keyboard um, backwards or around like this and allows you basically to hold your iPad in book mode. And as much as you try, pressing on the back hair does nothing. It won't activate the Bluetooth function because it's not connected, which is really cool. So let's pair this back up automatically and show you some of the functions of the keyboard. By the way, there are three different positions, as I mentioned, really steep, kind of middle of the road, and then a little bit more relaxed, and you can lock it into any one of those three. It is magnetic, although you know it'll stay connected if you pick it up gently, but if you pull too hard, it will release um, itself from the magnet. Keyboard keys, I would say they're about 25% uh, smaller than a traditional keyboard, but they give you nice feedback. They are, um, like chiclet style plastic keys. They give you very nice feedback when you press them. Uh, let's just go ahead here and open up an email so I can show you some typing. But basically, I'm a horrible typist. I still, believe it or not, use the hunt and peck style of typing where I'm just typing with my fingers, which actually I think on a keyboard of this size works um, better for me because I'm not fumbling over the keys. But I think um, this keyboard works great. It's not as great, I'd say, as some of the other keyboards out there as far as typing goes, but all of that, um, any negative kind of experience that you might feel about the keys themselves is totally you know, done away with because of all the other features, like the fact that it's so slim and the fact that it doesn't have on-off and all that. Um, simply those outweigh the whatever complaints I might have about the plasticky feel of these keys. You do have a row of um, iPad-specific keys as well on top of the numbers. Those would be with the function key, so cut, copy, and paste. If you want to go to Spotlight, you can do that. You do have um, home button here, which will, by the way, um, you know, access the home screen and also wake up the iPad um, when you um, have it turned off. So right now it's still connected. I want to wake it up. It will um, do that for me and uh, can able to get to the slide uh, to unlock right from there without having to use that sleep awake button. Um, one other thing missing from my pre-production version is the auto sleep awake. Um, this one does not do that, but the case will do that in the production version. I know some of the other review models uh, that are floating around already have that feature set up. It just seems to be missing from my, like I said, pre-release version. So. Um, like I said, the Belkin Ultimate Keyboard Case for the iPad, I think the name certainly fits the bill. This is far and away the best keyboard case for the iPad, bar none at the moment. Not only is it super thin, it's super convenient in the fact that you never have to turn it on and off. Amazing battery life. Keys are somewhat decent, like I said, lacking a little bit. A um, little plastic key, a little light on the feedback, but all that aside, this is still the single best keyboard case that you'll find right now for your iPad. So that's been my brief, I know this has been a longer review than you're used to for me, review of the Belkin Ultimate Keyboard Case. You can check it out via Belkin's website. You can pre-order it in two different colors. Comes in the black version I have here or silver for $99.99. It should be shipping sometime this month. As always, if you have any questions about what you saw here today, you know you can drop me a line down below. Otherwise, have a great day.